Erica, still a tropical storm. So, Jen, we are not seeing all of those features right now. Not many of them, actually. Um, the center circulation right now, right up there, I put X marks the spot. You know, Chris, it's very lopsided. Right. Because right. that's, if that's the center, you would expect to see a lot right. more action here, but right. we're not. Right. But we do see some thunderstorms bubbling up. You know, Jim talked about the importance of those thunderstorms. We do have that, and uh, we certainly have some heavy rain out there. And as we well. are seeing that in Dominica as well. We're following that developing story here on AMHQ. We're backtracking. Um, I thought he had a couple of really great points, too, um, and especially when he talked about the rain um, and the fact that it has been a very steady, soaking rain for the past six hours without a lot of wind. Um, and from a meteorological perspective, that's pretty interesting. Interesting because Dominica is right here. The center of circulation is just to the west of Guadalupe, which is right up here. So, you know, given that, you might expect some stronger, gustier winds in these thunderstorms that are closer to the center of circulation, but they have not been experiencing that. They have been seeing the very steady rain, the heavy rain at times for the past six hours. And as you can see, that's really not changing very much either. Now, continuing to talk about those winds, you know, to get an estimate of what's happening with the wind field within this tropical storm, the hurricane. Hurricane hunters have been flying. This is the Air Force Hurricane Hunters that took off from St. Croix earlier this morning and a look at their path so far. I want to show you some of the winds that they have been uh, getting and finding as they've been flying through. Let me take a look at some of the latest data coming on in. And, you know, around the time of the advisory, they actually did find a wind speed estimated down at the surface of 63 miles per hour. But most of the other observations um, that they have been estimating have all come in um, at well beyond that 50 mile per hour. In fact, most of them in the 30s and the 40s. Latest estimates coming in at about 37 miles per hour up here in that northeast quadrant. So we'll keep bringing you more data from this. We'll talk about the track. And we got your forecast. Hey, what, Chris? The rain and the fact that they, they don't have the strong gusty winds, but the rain itself is causing so many problems. And we need to remember that, that you don't need to have a strong hurricane to have big impacts. It's happening with a 50 mile per hour tropical storm Erica and bringing the very rain, the very heavy rain to Dominica. All right, so Chris, as you mentioned, it's still an ongoing situation. We still have the rain right here, as you can see. This is Dominica right here. Winds at the airport are gusting to 26 miles per hour. But this is where we picked up more than eight inches of rain in six hours. It's been raining all morning and continues to rain right there. Uh, Brandon, our weather producer, taking a closer view so we can see where that heaviest of rain is, especially on that southern tip of the island, getting some of the heaviest of rain. But, you know, earlier when we uh, did speak with Don Corriente, he said it's just been a steady rain and it's been just a very steady, heavy tropical rain rain. All right, so let's give you the latest. The 8 o'clock advisory, 50 mile per hour winds, pressure 1,005, west at 16. The movement is going to be key to watch today because it is expected to make a turn a little more to the north and west. Its position is right here, 85 miles west of Guadalupe. Look where that puts it compared to where all of the other convection is, where the rest of the cloud shield is, right up here in that northwestern corner. The stronger winds have been east, a little bit north, a little bit south, but really east of where the center of circulation is. Latest visible satellite, too. We've been getting some of these images in the last couple of hours, finally getting a view from space of what the top looks like here. And you see some of the thunderstorms bubbling up, again, south of the circulation now and to the west, but you really don't see a lot up to the north and west. Like in Anguilla, I bet we have a pretty nice day going on on there right now. Some of those outer showers are reaching all the way out here in sort of the outer reaches of the circulation uh, up to Puerto Rico, up to the Virgin Islands, but the big deal is happening right now in the leewards. Now, that was the microwave imagery, which really shows us what it looks like inside our tropical storm. And just like we saw on the radar, just like we saw with the visible satellite, um, where we have the most dense thunderstorms and, and the most uh, uh, area of thunderstorms is in to the uh, center and south and to the east. Now, now, looking at that projected path, taking up to the north and west, again, it's got to make that turn. And then the cone of uncertainty gets very large as we get out in time, simply because the, the historical error track is large as you get out in time. We'll look at the models, and you'll see that as it tracks, and again, it's hopefully going to follow this model track because it's got to make that turn to the north and west. If it does, um, the uncertainty comes into play in two ways, both the track and strength. And it's got to make it all the way through Puerto Rico and Hispaniola before we can even really ascertain where it's going to go when it gets here. And then when it does, at this point, you know, there's mainly an option that would potentially impact the U.S. and Florida or right off the southeast coast. But again, right now, Chris, we need to know how it's going to act in the next 24 hours before we can really predict what's going to happen in four or five days.